So here we are. We are in the Red Room. My name is Rich Clark. Her Majesty and the Walls are here. Look, there they are. Hello. How are you guys? Feeling good. A little cold, yeah, though. Yeah, I was going to say, you say that, but it's blooming cold up here. <laughs> We're on the roof of a very nice hotel in London, and it is cold, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is freezing, Thanks, and good. it's misting, and it's okay, though, because right. we're here with you. And it's Her Majesty in the Wolf's time. You are saying the right thing. So we've got Spencer, we've got Kimberly. How did you guys get together? How did you form this super group? <laughs> the super group. Super group is how I we like brand that. Um, I'd say mutual friends hooked us up, and uh, Kim was already working on a bunch of other music, and um, somebody suggested that we should work together, and you know, we did a record together, which actually is not on an album or anything like that. But it was good, and everything else, the chemistry was there, and. We decided to go a little further and we played around and everything and ended up being really cool. Yeah. yeah. It's just kind of organically unraveled and become what it is. Now, this is a word I've seen a lot, organic. Organic. Yeah. Yes. Organism, I think, was another word I saw that described your, your duo. Mm. Why are you using that word? Why have you picked on that? Is it because you're so original and unique? Is that what you're going for? Well, I think that Developing. it just it organically came together. We met, it vibed, mm -hmm. we decided that it felt right, we moved forward, we came up with the name, we made the album, mm -hmm. here we are doing Stars, we did our first per live performance together today, it's just happening. And the single for uh, Stars in Your Eyes, of course, yeah. uh, which is out now. Did you know that we had a TV show in the UK called Stars in Your Eyes? Did you no. know Stars that? in Their Eyes, Stars right? in Their Eyes, yes. yeah. I mean, I'm trying to be tenuous <laughs> a little bit. Did you know about this? If you could be any other pop star, who would you, uh, who would you take off if you were gonna be on a TV show? Um. Gaga, let's start with Gaga. Do you think you could do that? Do you think you could do justice to a meat dress? I don't think I would want to. I'll leave that to Gaga. She does it beautifully. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we noticed in the video it's very Tron-like. You said about the lights and the and the dance beats and all that kind of stuff inspiring you. Did, was that what you were intending or is that just a coincidence that it's like the Tron movie? That was a coincidence, actually. Yeah. It was a complete coincidence. You know, all these treatments that came in for this video and the final product wasn't exactly what the initial idea started out as. And we just put trust into this kid, you know, a friend of ours, Justin Harder, and it was like, make it look dope. Well, last time I saw you, Kimberly, of course, The Dolls yes. is the famous part of your life. You were with Agro Santos as well on the Candy record. Yes. And Spencer, you've produced a few people before. What's Kimberly like? Is she set in her ways from those times? I'm not mm. going to look at you now. I'm going <laughs> to do this listen. Oh, set in her ways? No, she's dope. Like, she gets in the studio and, you know, she comes in and she does her thing and she tries really hard. Like, the entire time that she worked on the album, she became a better singer every time she came to the studio. She's bossy though, right? No. She's quite bossy. She's no. quite pushy. She, she looks at, she looks the pushy type. She no, does not her. at all. <laughs> so who's Her Majesty and who's the Wolves then? I don't think that there is a Her Majesty yeah, or a Wolves, one, yeah. but it's a name that we can just play with and have the, the most fun with. There is one thing though, you, if you're going to use Her Majesty in the title, you do need to learn how to be like Her Majesty. Obviously, living in London, I know how this works. I meet the Queen <laughs> all the time. She's always walking past my head. So drinking your cup of tea, you need to stick your uh, yes. stick your pinky out as yep. you do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have a throne in your house so that you can... So that you can I'm working on that get one. Get the throne sorted. Yep. Oh, these won't yeah, we do as thrones. thrones will we? <laughs> yeah, I get a, we got a throne. I get a throne. Spencer, you in a crown? I think that's a good look for I you. I get a, I get a crown. I get a crown. Ah, oh, 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 there's yeah. a crown there. <laughs> get a crown. Very nice. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Very nice. Uh, we saw as yeah. well that you wanted your live performances to be like a fairy tale. Yes, I just see this beautiful postmodern fairy tale, very Burton-esque but I'm also very inspired by the DJ world and the lights and mm -hmm. like I've been to these, I went to Coachella, that's kind of mm -hmm. our first like um, exciting adventure together. We're both very inspired by it. Going to see Jay-Z and seeing what he brings to the plate and going to see Dead Mouse and you see these completely different worlds, but I just want to put it all together and come up with something new and exciting. Guys, yeah. thanks for being in the Red Room. I'm Rich Clark, I'll catch you soon. Talk Peace.